welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Cynthia Worsfall. On this channel, I make beauty, lifestyle, and vlog. And here with me, I have little Jamie, who is my little son. Isn't he cute? Say hi! <laughs> Today's video, I want to talk about my birth experience. Just because I want to document this video for myself so I can look back and remember it. And another reason why, because some of you guys are really curious uh, what birth experience looks like. Just letting you know that every pregnant woman is different. So my story could be different than yours. So just want to let you know that. I wrote down a lot of notes so I can't remember every little detail because a lot of happened. Let's get into the video. Let's start with pre-labor. On August 30th. 2019, which is on the Wednesday, around 11 in the morning, I was starving. So I went to the kitchen and I wanted to make chicken curry with rice. And yes, I know that spicy food is supposed to pop the baby out, but that's not the reason. I was just craving for it. <laughs> but so I was making it, then I finished cooking, then I set up the. What? Here you go. Uh, I set up the table with forks and knives and the plate and I put my food. I was ready to eat. By the time I sat down, I started to feel the leak and it felt like I was peeing. So I didn't even think it was nothing. Um, usually, as a pregnant woman, all your organs push the bladder. So I was just like, oh, okay, this is no big deal. I just wanted to call my mom just to be sure. I called my mom and I asked her, what does water breakage feels like? She said, oh, you will know when you know. So I was just like, but I don't know. <laughs> I texted my husband saying like, I'm, I'm peeing a lot. And he was like, oh really? And I'm like, yeah. And at this time, I changed my pants like five times, which is insane. Like, who does that? Who changed his pants five times? It was soaking wet. And my mom called me back again. She said, I think you need to go to the hospital. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I, I called my husband. He was at work, by the way. I called my husband and I was like, I think I need to go to the hospital. And he was like, okay, I'm on my way. So he was on his way home from work. Luckily, his boss was nice enough for, to let him go. So that was great. While he was driving home, I was here in my own apartment and I panicked. I had a panic attack. I was crying. I had an anxiety. I was like, I didn't pack my hospital bag. The only thing I packed was his stuff, but I didn't pack my stuff or uh, my husband. It's okay. So I was panicking. Luckily, my best friend, Caitlin, was here. She saved my life, pretty much. She calmed me down. She was like, it's okay. Let's just pack things one at a time, blah, blah, blah. And she, basically, she really helped me. The reason why I panic is because my original due date was supposed to be December. So I can't believe that this little guy wants to come out six weeks early. My husband Michael, he finally came home and we packed up our stuff and then we drove to the hospital. Luckily our hospital was only like five minutes away from us so it was really convenient for us to go there quickly. By the time we arrived at the hospital, hi baby, it was 12 p.m. and we check in and we went to like a pre-labor room. And then the nurses came and she checked to see how much I am dilated. And I am dilated to three centimeter, which is insane. Yeah, so it's just crazy. <laughs> Once they check me, they automatically put me on IVs. By the way, I find that IVs hurts way more than giving birth um, or having contraction or having epidural. IVs hurt. I just don't know why. After they hooked me up with the IV, I automatically went to the labor slash delivery room. And when I got settled down, a lot of, of my family and friends showed up. So I had my husband, my best friend Caitlin, uh, her fiance Ben, 
uh, my mother-in-law, sister-in-law, nana-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law. My brother showed up. Okay. Okay. You want to hold? You want me to hold you? My sister was in Canada, so she couldn't make it. My parents were on their way on a flight. Okay. Labor delivering you. So at this time, I could not eat. The only thing I could eat was ice chips and jello. By the way, I did not eat my chicken curry, which obsessed me a lot. <laughs> Once I settled down, my contraction were so bad. They were not too bad. But then once it get closer, closer, oh my goodness. It, it hurt so bad. Um, my husband on the left side and then my best friend Caitlin was on my right side. I was holding their hand. I was just like, help me. This contraction's hurting me. It got so bad that I had to have epidural. So they put me in epidural. By the way, epidural was the one that I the, the most freak out because you know epidural and the needle in your back it's, it's just a scary thought but honestly guys it's just a it's just a bunch of pressure and it did not hurt at all and by the way it's the best drug ever because you can't feel anything below your like uh, belly down and it's just the best and you don't feel the contraction so it's amazing. <laughs> I was at three centimeter for the longest time, for the longest time. And then once it got, I don't know, like four hours later, I finally reached to six centimeter and then seven centimeter and then eight and then nine. And that's when it's time for me to push. I had my husband, Caitlin, my mother-in-law, nana-in-law and sister-in-law in the room with me. But by the way, they were all great they were helpful and i'm glad that i had them in the room with me just because i don't know how i would survive <laughs> i pushed three times but this little guy won't come out uh unfortunately he had cord around his neck so which we had to do emergency c-section so i freak out of course i panic i couldn't breathe that well so they put me on oxygen i automatically went to the surgery room i thought my husband was with me the whole time and because the guy, even like the doctor, dressed up like Michael so I thought it was him the whole time but sadly he was not with me in the surgery room which is a little disappointed but it is what it is. As I got in the surgery room, the doctor cut my like down there and she asked me, did you feel that? And I said, oh yes, I do feel that. And she's like, okay, we're going to have to put you on anesthesia because apparently my epidural didn't, it was too slow. It was, it didn't work fast enough. So they put me under anesthesia. I fell asleep for two hours. At 8.53 p.m., this little guy, James Forceful, was born. And he was born 5 pounds, 2 ounces, 19.1 inches. And he is the best thing ever. Okay, now postpartum. <music> Unfortunately, he was six weeks early that he has to be in the NICU. He had to be on the oxygen tube and he wasn't feeding well. He had um, what, uh, jaundice, which is like a yellow skin. So they had to treat that. They just had to watch him in the NICU. He was in the NICU for 22 days which is so long and I honestly, I was really, really sad because I really wanted to take him home. But after 22 days, we t did take him home, which is the best feeling ever. And as for me, after giving birth, my husband and I stay in the hospital for five days to recover from C-section. I had 20 staples, which is not a good vision to look at. But yeah, I had 20 stables. The first two days, I was completely fine. I walked like, like a normal person. But then, like on the third day, the nurses took out the stables. And by the way, I look and I almost passed out. I was just like, oh no. And I guess that kind of affect me that uh, on the third day and fourth and the fifth, I, start, I started to feel like nauseous. I, I didn't, I couldn't walk that well, but my parents did make it. Uh, they made it on that day, like later around like 11 p.m. I guess. 
and they saw James and I'm just happy that my parents could see James on the when he was born but I just want to say that we gave birth at Sky Ridge Hospital and honestly guys the Sky Ridge nurses and NICU nurses are amazing I just want to thank them for so much for taking care of me taking care of him and it went smooth and I'm just so so happy that they really do have the best service and I'm just glad that we chose that place currently as you can tell we are doing amazing I am back to myself I'm walking fine I can do exercise I can do most of the things which is great and uh, this little guy is now two months old is 10 pounds and 15 ounces which is crazy because he was born five pounds and now he's over 10 pounds before he had an oxygen tube and now he doesn't which makes me the happiest mom ever I just feel blessed and thankful that I have this incredible journey that I have my baby with me and my husband with me and that we have a perfect little family I want to thanks to people who have been there for me who have supported me and just just thank you so anyway that is the end of the video thank you guys for watching this i hope you guys can like this video and subscribe to my channel and please also share this to your fans and family you want to say hi to people hi say hi say hi i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys in the next video is your camera shy come on baby Bye guys.